Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the all-important nitrogen cycle for your aquarium and how that works and how important it is to the health of your tank. Before we get started, though, please give me a like on this uh, at the end of the video and also subscribe to the channel and share this with your friends. If you have any comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's talk about this all-important nitrogen cycle and what it means to you as a first-time hobbyist or someone that is getting their first aquarium and setting it up. Number one thing you don't want to do is go and buy an aquarium and find uh, that uh, within uh, the purchase of that aquarium, someone at the store is talking you into buying some fish and getting started. That is really the wrong way to go about this. And it is so important that you go through this nitrogen cycle to have success in a healthy aquarium along the way. So what is the nitrogen cycle? Let me explain it to you in a way that will help you to understand and help you uh, to have a healthy aquarium and a healthy relationship in the hobby with the understanding of how all of this works. The first thing you're going to need before you have anything is patience because patience is everything in getting yourself to a point of having a healthy aquarium. Now, what is the nitrogen cycle? The nitrogen cycle is where you start your aquarium up. Let's say you get a five to 10 gallon, which is what I recommend for somebody that's just starting out. You can buy that anywhere. You can buy it at the big box stores. You can buy it at a mom and pop store, or you can buy it at, uh, 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 Amazon or someplace like that. Now one of the uh, things that I would tell you is there's a few out there that I would recommend to you. I'm not being paid to tell you these names, but I want to tell you that you can go out and get yourself these all-in-one tanks that are very, very helpful in getting you started in the hobby, and that would be the five-gallon Aquatop Pisces, and also uh, some fluval products out there that are 10 gallons. All of these are all-in-one aquariums, so they have everything that you need to get started. They have the uh, tank, the beneficial um, uh, lighting that is necessary, and also a filtration system that's pretty good. It's not probably going to be the best filtration you're ever going to have if you stay in the hobby, but these are pretty darn good. Uh, they're so much better than they, they were, say, 20, 30 years ago. So what is the nitrogen cycle in itself? What it basically is, is it's good bacteria that goes after the bad bacteria in your tank when you're first starting out. Now, what that means is you're going to have ammonia, nitrites, nitrates. All of these things are going to cycle as you're going along. Basically, you got to get yourself a test kit. You're going to have to have something that is going to be able to monitor all three of these things to have an understanding of where you're at in this nitrogen cycle. Now, API puts out one. There's also test strips that are put out by Tetra and places like that. But these are uh, things that you're going to have to have on hand in order to test your water to understand where you're at in that nitrogen cycle. I recommend the API kit because it has a lot more types of tests in there that down the road are going to become important to you if you stay in the hobby. So that would be the one that I would recommend to you. These test strips, they're pretty good. They're not perfect yet. They're getting better, but I don't trust them enough to tell you to go out and buy those. So the first thing I want to tell you is do not go buy an aquarium at a big box store and then buy fish the same day and go home and expect that those fish are going to live. That's not going to happen. What's going to happen is that cycle is going to start and ammonia is going to spike up and it's going to burn the gills on your fish. Uh, it's going to turn into nitrites, which is also going to cause problems for your fish, diseases and all kinds of problems that are going to kill your fish and you're going to be very, very disappointed. So that's where patience comes in here and you're going to need four to six weeks to get your aquarium off to the right start. Now basically what you're going to do is you're going to set up your aquarium, you're going to put your water in there, and you are going to get this nitrogen cycle going. And one of the things that I recommend to get it started off on the right foot is using some products that have beneficial bacteria that you can buy at the store. And uh, that would be 
Uh, Tetra has one that has beneficial bacteria that you can dump right into your tank. Now, many of these will tell you that you instantly cycle your tank. That couldn't be further from the truth. That is a hack and a trick that can be used to get your nitrogen cycle going, uh, but it is not foolproof, and I would not be putting fish in there right away. I would wait to make sure and test your water after putting some of these products in there. Stability by Seachem is another one that I really, really like, and uh, these are great products to get you going, but they are not something that is going to cycle your tank automatically. I recommend, if you can, to do this the natural way, and that is to uh, just let the natural process of bacteria building up into your tank and letting the beneficial bacteria start to take over over time and build up in your, um, your filtration system, which kills off this bad bacteria that creates the problems with the ammonia, the nitrites, and the nitrates. Now, when you get down to seeing that your ammonia is at zero, your nitrites are at zero, and your nitrates are very little or zero, hopefully zero, but uh, that doesn't always happen. Sometimes nitrates are there, and uh, if they're in small, small uh, amounts, they're not going to hurt your fish. But if you have a huge amount of nitrates in your tank, then your tank has not cycled properly. So you're looking for ammonia to be zero, nitrites to be zero and nitrates to be zero if possible. If not, a very, very small amount of nitrates just means that your cycle is working and it may just not be keeping up 100%, but it's not going to kill your fish. Now, it's so important that you have patience in doing this because the number one reason why people get out of this hobby is because they're not patient and they kill a bunch of fish off and they get frustrated. If you don't have patience, this hobby is probably not for you. Now, we've talked about this several times in other videos, and I will leave those down in the description. And I will, at the end of the video, point you towards some other videos that I've made that talk about this a little bit more, and not quite as in-depth as what we're talking about today, but it's important that you follow this instructions and uh, really, really understand that if you don't have patience and you allow yourself to put fish into your aquarium a little too fast and you haven't done it the proper way, then you're going to be very, very disappointed. You're gonna have a lot of dead fish on your hands. A lot of people get to this point and they just, you know, it's the number one reason why they just get out of the hobby. So if I wanna help you to be successful at being uh, a hobbyist uh, with aquariums, the number one thing I'm going to tell you is to have some patience and to do it correctly because the reward down the road is absolutely amazing. As uh, you can see in all of my other videos, I have absolutely beautiful tanks and aquariums all over my house and in my gallery that are beautiful. And the reason I got to that point is I made mistakes early on too, but I followed the instructions on how to do this properly. And I'm passing that on to you so that you don't have huge disappointment or have your aquarium crash and uh, all of your fish die. That, that's just terrible and it's, it's really hard on people. I'm going to tell you, when you go into these big box stores, you're going to buy an aquarium and they're going to try to talk you into buying fish the same day. Don't do it buy the things that I'm telling you to get, and that would be an all-in-one aquarium, add your water to it, add some uh, gravel in there or stone, uh, some plants. Plants are extremely good at eating up the bad bacteria and using it as food. Uh, also, any waste products that come off uh, are absolutely gonna be eaten by those plants. If you're not feeling confident enough to start growing plants in your tank and whatever, there's a ton of videos out there that tell you about that as well and will get you started. But it's important for those of you who are just starting out in the hobby to get a sense of what it takes to put an aquarium together and also to be successful at it. If you follow my instructions here, you're going to be a lot happier because in the long run, you're going to have a beautiful, healthy tank that you can be proud of and uh, maybe you go on from there to get something larger and you start getting into more sophisticated fish and whatever. Now, the other thing I wanna tell you is don't overpopulate your aquarium. There's a temptation to do that as well. 
a five gallon to 10 gallon tank is not going to leave you a lot of room for putting a ton of fish, but it's gonna give you some really fun ways of starting out with what they call nano tanks. In other words, there are fish out there that are very tiny little fish and uh, maybe some uh, snails and uh, oh, uh, probably uh, some shrimp if possible. But once your tank is established, you can add these things in slowly. Do not add them all at once because you want to build up and build up and not have a crash of your system uh, where the ammonia gets too high and the nitrites get too high and your whole system crashes. So be very patient and allow for some time to put all of these uh, fish into your tank. And as I said, be careful on five and 10 gallon tanks that you don't overpopulate. There's a temptation to do that because Let's face it, there's a ton of beautiful fish out there and we all want them. If you're interested in doing that, set yourself up with a larger aquarium and uh, you know, follow the same instructions of what I'm telling you. Now, one of the hacks that I was gonna tell you, as I said earlier in the video, is if you have a friend that has a very, very healthy tank and you can trust that person, doesn't have disease in their tank, doesn't have uh, snails that are unwanted in your tank, uh, I'm not talking about the decorative snails that you put in on purpose. I'm talking about pesty snails that can cause a lot of problems. Make sure that you're getting that nitrifying bacteria from somebody, the good bacteria from somebody that has a tank that's been running for a long period of time and is willing to share some of that bacteria with you. And again, even if you do that, that doesn't mean you're going to get an instant cycle on your tank. I would wait a few weeks to just to make sure that, like I said, the ammonia, the nitrites, and the nitrates are all zero if you possibly can. It's most important that the ammonia and the nitrites are. If you've got a speck on the nitrates, as I said earlier, that's okay. Thank you for joining me today. I hope I was helpful in getting you started on that nitrogen cycle, that all-important nitrogen cycle that is going to be uh, something that's going to help you to be successful at the hobby and have a beautiful tank in the long run. Thank you for joining me today. That's it. We will see you on the next one. Until then, we're out of here.